Will the market go up or down? Should you lock in or float? Find out this and more with Master of the Markets, hosted by Barry Habib of MBS Highway. Brought to you by Paramount Residential Mortgage Group. In today's mortgage environment, providing our wholesale community with the best combination of product, pricing, technology, and service is paramount to their success. PRMG, built by originators for originators. Welcome to another edition of Masters Markets. I'm Barry Habib and MBS Highway. It's created exclusively for Mortgage News Network. It's brought to you by our friends at PRMG who are working for your best interest. It was an exciting week in the stock market last week. Wow, huge swings, huge moves, but you know, if you're a member of MBS Highway, you know that we called that downturn before it happened. On Wednesday, we said, watch out. Things are too bullish. The sentiment was too bullish. It usually goes the other way. And if you were in the market, it would have saved you about 2,200 Dow points ahead of the downturn. Well, getting a little bounce. Do we believe in that bounce? Chances are that we see a little bit more of a downward move. But what was very kind of eerie was the similarity between the 1929 crash. We had the big downturn and then rose 48% before a much larger, longer-term move lower. Of course, not in a straight line. Well, when you take a look at the more, more recent crash that we had seen in March, very big move lap down, and the rise, 47.5%. Hmm, 1929, 48%, here 47.5%, and then a big downturn. Uh, again, maybe not in a straight line, History doesn't always repeat itself, but it does tend to rhyme, according to Mark Twain. So let's see if uh, this is the beginning of a longer move lower. Now, would mortgage bonds be the beneficiary of that? Under normal circumstances, they would. But if prices decline very rapidly, similar to what you had seen in March, it has the opposite effect because people are greedy and they tend to buy stocks and wanting to juice returns by doing so on margin. Well, when you use leverage like that on the way down, by selling those things that are levered, you're not going to get, generate that much capital, especially if there's a sharp decline, similar to what we saw in March, and you wind up selling things that have performed well, gold, mortgage bonds, and that's why in March they sold off. We got a taste of that just for a little bit of period of time last week, just for a slight bit, but if we see a very sharp move lower, then you could see mortgage bonds kind of do the opposite behavior that we're accustomed to. Now, we don't see a prolonged sharp decline, at least in the short term, although we do see the move continuing lower and establishing a base and kind of trying to make a rally. We'll address that as time goes. Now, as far as interest rates go, you know, we told you that we were not going to see yields move that much higher. We thought that we'd come back down to 70 basis points. Where did we hit? 70 basis points on the 10-year, dead on. That's an important level because it's where the 200-day moving average is. So we were very wise to not buy the head fake, float into that. Where do we go from here? We break under 70 basis points. There's a lot of room to go, but watch for a bounce at 70 basis points higher. We are at a critical juncture on the 10-year treasury. Longer term, I think things look pretty good as far as the 10-year treasury goes and as far as interest rate goes, but as we've said, oftentimes not in a straight line. Now, this week, we will get initial jobless claims and a lot of housing data. Looking for 1.15 million, so the numbers are coming down, but still awful numbers. We're accustomed to 200,000, so 1.15 million. That's like six times the amount of people that should be just starting to file for unemployment. So the worst not over, there's a lot of people still continuing claims, about 25 million people still receiving unemployment benefits. That's a lot. Those numbers for unemployment would be higher if A, it weren't for misclassification, B, if it weren't for PPP, you'd probably be looking at numbers closer to 19% unemployment right now. The Bureau of Labor Statistics, the BLS said 13.3%. When you take into consideration the misclassification of workers, it's truly more 16.3, but then they use a lot of modeling in this and they use something called the birth death ratio. And because of that, when you take into consideration businesses that were born or businesses that were closed, they associate a number of workers with those businesses. Now we know the businesses that are coming back aren't bringing all of their employees back online, at least right away. So we think that the number might be closer to the upper teens as far as the unemployment rate goes. And, you know, in August, when we see the people that are working, thanks to being given that lifeline of PPP, could change and could push the unemployment rate higher still. So a little bit choppy here in the near term, as far as mortgage bonds go, we're going to begin by having a floating stance. 
and we'll watch that day to day. You should be watching that with us and all the other tools we have in MBS Highway to help make you a lot more money, beat your competition, and truly be an advisor. Stop faking it. Do it for real. You deserve it, your family deserves it, and certainly your customers deserve to have the very best. Be the best you can be. Get on MBS Highway, we'll help you get there. Have a great one. PRMG continues to provide our wholesale partners across the nation with better technology, better product, better pricing, and better service. Our nationally recognized brand is more than just an image. It is a symbol of integrity. PRMG, built by originators for originators. Be sure to click on the link below for your free 30-day MBS Highway Trial.